This is update 10, I believe, of the French biointensive raised bed organic garden. Um, I'm still getting blossoms on my June bearing strawberries and some berries, even though June is almost over. Um, my yellow crookneck squash has gotten quite large. And if you look inside, there are some blossoms, and that's the start of the, of the squash, and so is that. Um, the zucchini, it's recovering, but it's taking a while. I need to come in and cut off some more of the dead leaves now that they're coming back better from the centers. Um, I've got some strawberries still coming in this section of the June bearing, and then on the other bearing, I've got all kinds of blossoms, and I'm starting to get some more berries. The onions are coming along. Well, this one has huh, bolted, so um, that probably won't develop. It's been so hot this week. Um, I'm surprised everything hasn't bolted, quite frankly. It's been like 90 degrees. Um, this little onion finally has a second um, shoot on it. It's the one that has refused to grow. Um, got a little more light after I pulled out the snap peas. The snow peas I have started harvesting. I've picked a quart so far a couple days ago and I need to get out here and pick some more because they're really getting to that point. Um, this uh, kale is doing well. The two uh, lettuces tucked in here are doing great. I've used all of the green onions now. Let's see, I'll show you the back side of the peas. Just loaded. Um, I've pulled out quite a bit of the lettuce. Um, I'm going to let one of these bolt and then um, it'll self seed. And then I'm going to let one of these bolt. These two will get used. That, that lettuce um, is going to be allowed to grow. It's a little one, so uh, that was just transplanted a few weeks ago. And this way I'll have a few lettuces scattered around the garden. Um, the fennel that I planted is starting to turn really green. It was kind of yellow last week, so it's doing much better. The rosemary that I planted that had been in a pot on my kitchen shelf all year um, I don't know. It's been in the ground about a week and I'm not sure if it's going to recover or not. Um, the parsley and cilantro that I put tucked in here are doing really well. This cilantro that was in one of the pots is going to seed and I'm going to let it. Now this yarrow that I thought was going to be white is actually this pretty purple color. I still haven't gotten these moved. I intend to this week. Look at my comfrey though, it's beautiful. I should be able to start harvesting some leaves soon um, for dehydrating so I can make um, infused oil and a salve. That parsley still needs to get moved. Um, I'm still waiting for one comfrey root to come back. I'm hoping it does. I harvested a bunch of um, basil this morning for um, dehydrating. I'm using my dehydrator right now to um, dehydrate calendula petals and I had a couple extra racks so I decided to put some basil in as well. So if I'm using electricity anyway, I don't need to waste it. I came through here and cut out some of the suckers on the tomato plants and um, some of the leaves that touched the ground I still have to finish. I didn't quite get through these. Um, this sorrel is bolting. I don't know um, if that is a problem for sorrel or not. 
um, it didn't bolt last year so I don't know if it just self seeds and dies or if it bolts and then self seeds but still comes back from the bottom this sorrel is also bolting but the red veined is not um, I'm getting blossoms on these peppers now um, I went through and got some of the extra growth off of these tomatoes as well uh, but not as much as I would like it's just so hot I did thin some of the carrots I still need to thin some more um, but they are starting to look really healthy and strong now since I did thin some of them um, the marjoram needs to get about another four inches and I can start um, drying it um, these lettuces are still doing fine um, I really harvested a lot of calendula in the last couple of days for my oil making uh, and which will eventually be salve making they are really pretty and I, I like that there's a graduation of colors as well although I think the orange ones are my favorite okay the watermelon is really starting to branch out um, it's going all over the sides now I gotta get down here and weed eat uh, these weeds are just really lush um, the lettuce that I tucked in here is still doing good um, I really need to get out here and harvest it I've gotten over my sick of lettuce phase after two weeks or so of not eating it um, the um, fava beans are flowering they were flowering last week though but there's a lot more now um, the Anasazi beans are still getting eaten on pretty badly but I am starting to see flower clusters now these are both supposed to be climbing beans but I don't think that they are um, these green beans are starting to get um, flower clusters and the kale over here continues to do really well these green beans I haven't seen any flower clusters yet but I planted them at the same time as these ones and they're the same type so we should now on the maxi bell haricot vert um, they are there's all kinds of flowers and I was starting to think that these weren't bush beans because they're getting so tall but um, they are finally flowering so I think that they are actually bush beans or just really tall ones um, again there's all kinds of um, blossoms on my peppers and a few very small um, fruit starting. I also cleaned out really extensively over here um, the lower branches of the tomatoes because um, I don't want any leaves touching the dirt. I don't want to allow for soil borne illness or to make it easier for bugs to climb up it and chomp on them. Um, they're up high enough now that I am letting them blossom. Um, I, I think that the plant is plenty big enough now to support fruiting. My celery is doing really well. My chard is being eaten to death. I pulled all my broccoli but this one. It's got a couple of side shoots that are coming. So I'm going to let that happen. Um, all of the kohlrabi on this side has been harvested did the, um, the lettuce is doing not lettuce the cabbage is doing really well um, I did cut back a couple of cabbage leaves so these last two kohlrabi could get some light isn't that pretty on the bright lights chart unfortunately the leaves are not nowhere as pretty or, sorry, the leaves aren't anywhere as pretty as the stalks because of the bugs. Um, but the stalks are just amazing colors. I really like the bright lights variety. Um, we harvested the last of the cabbage. It's in here with the, the broccoli and the kohlrabi and... Uh, yeah, broccoli and kohlrabi, there's not anything else in there. 
Um, so we'll be replanting this section um, this week, as well as where we pulled all the broccoli out. Um, these strawberries are still, these are ever bearing and there's all kinds of red berries in here still as well. Um, this romaine is this gigantic. It's like two feet from the bottom to the top and it's going to get pulled and fed to the birds over the course of the week. Um, now we, do, we did tuck in some more kohlrabi. So um, I'm hoping that it's not too hot for it to grow properly. Um, a lot of the kohlrabi in this bed has either bolted or it got really malformed. These are mom's beds, so I don't think she watered as much as she should have. Um, the Minarda or bee balm is really pretty, although this is kind of spent, but this is a fresh one. Still beautiful. And the artichokes are doing really well. I think mom's going to let them flower instead of harvesting them for the fruit. Cosmos are beautiful, though they need to be deadheaded. So that is update 10, I think it's 10, for the raised bed garden.